Tom, Billiam, we, are we aren't the Digi Dudes! Well, I don't know what we are doing. We missed right there. That's just what happened. Hey guys, so we are really excited about this one. As you guys clicked on the video, you saw the thumbnail. We have the brand new EX3 dim set here. And we are super stoked about this. So we're going to talk about the dim set first a little bit. And then we're going to get right into our raising and ch checking out these awesome dims. Okay. Shopping so, the, my carrot star. Shopping the carrot star. Check out the first one right here. This is the Spirit Flame set. So this is the first time we've gotten a dim set where there's three dims in the package together. The most we've gotten before is two dims at a time. And that's, this is even really cool, honestly. I really like it. We clearly got both, as you guys can see there. So we got all six dims from this set. We've got the Agunimon dim here, the Chakmon dim here, the Ferrymon dim in He's this set. One. Yeah, that's your Japanese name. And then right here on the package here, it says... With the dims, you get four capsules when you put it in the app. When you connect the app to it, you get four capsules. And you get four of the 60-minute evolution timers, which then just takes 60 minutes off of your evolution time. So you did evolve 60 minutes faster. Let's check out the back real quick. Same normal legal Japanese happening here. Disclaimers Except and things like that. Bigger. And then we've got the Digimon here. These things are huge compared to all the other ones in the past. These yeah, packages. Um, I will admit though, they normally have like a D design in the background. This one doesn't. It's just a big circle-y kind of looking design. So now we saw that. Oh, in each one of the dims has the, um, the spirit symbols on them that they oh, all daddy. have on their digivices. Oh, daddy. For the corresponding I, I characters. I just noticed something. What? When they, I think it's supposed to look like when my spirit evolution. Yeah, it absolutely is. And then this is the second one, Spirit of Light here. Because it goes with Wolfmon here. And there's then it's the got, dark one. Yep, we got Wolfmon, Blitzmon, and Loemon here. Loemon. No, the Loemon one is actually the one with Loosemon. Yeah. Because it's um, the dark one. Yes, absolutely, Debbie Dude. And once again, it says here you get the four capsules, the four evolution times here. Timers when you connect them to the apps. So, what makes this dim set really cool is that this one also has the two optional child level Digimon for it. And then if you raise a Emperor Greymon and, um, it's slipping my mind right now, the, uh, the Gururumon, f the final Gururumon evolution... You can jog rest the two of them together, um, one from this set and the other one from this set, if you have both, to get Susanumon on here. Which is the one who, who defeated Loosemon. Yeah. So we've learned before from the um, Espimon dims there and the Rudamon dim that the way you get the two different evolutions, child level evolutions, is if you get a max vital value you'll get one, and then anything below max vital value, you'll get the other. So I'm not sure, because these are brand new. They just came out. We just got them. They've only been out for a week now. And there's no evolution guides up really yet for them. So we're going to be finding out how to get guys and then letting you know how we got each guy as we go along with this. So uh, I say let's start it, Debbie Dude. Debbie Dude and I have been talking about this for months already since they got released and the rosters got released and we pre-ordered them. Because I love Lucima and I was getting so tins that he's in. Yes. So we already discussed who we're going to be running each. I'm going to go with Blitzmon because I really like Blitzmon and all of his evolutions and insect type Digimon. And that's what this one is going to focus on this dim. And Demi Dude picked the Loemon one because he wants to get Loosemon. Because Digimon Frontier is one of your favorite Digimon seasons, isn't it? Yes, and I don't know. Is it your is it your favorite or is it like one of? It is my favorite. It's your favorite season because it's got Loosemon in it. And, and it's the big, and he's the big boss. And Loosemon's one of your favorite Digimon. Yes. And he's one of the Dark Masters. Wait, what's it called? Seven Great Demon Lords. Seven Great Demon Lords. I got it mixed up with the Dark Masters. Hey, Bob. All right, here. So let's put this dim in. 
Oh, I really like that background. Can I see? Yeah, hold on, Debbie dude. Let's pop this out because I want to catch it all here on camera. So it's the it's like them in space. Oh, that egg looks really good too. So you remember in the final season, in the final parts of the season when they're fighting Lusmon and he's destroying the digital world and, they're and, and they're in space fighting. Yeah, that's what this is. That's the background. So that cool. looks so cool. Oh my gosh, they All right. The Kraken, the Earth that Lusmon made. Yup. It looks, everything reads really good on this background. Because I know some of the backgrounds get kind of muddy sometimes. And hard to see your vital values and the time and all that. Ooh. But this looks really good. All right, Debbie, dude. I know you're all hyped for it. Getting started? <laughs> right. Oh, and then this one is different. What is it? So it's the same cracked there. But instead of being in space, they're on the digital world. So the digital world is breaking up and you're on it still. You see it's got like a, um, a sunset kind of happening in the background and the clouds that there? Yeah! Oh, that is really cool. I like how they basically use the same design with just slight changes to it to make it look and feel different. Yeah, like this one, they're in oh, space that is and so it's cool. already destroyed and they're getting destroyed. All right, so we are super hyped about this as you guys can see here. We love it! We are already really digging this dim no! <laughs> Debbie dude's hyped all right guys stay tuned keep on watching follow along with us as we digivolve and tell you exactly how we got each one of them so if you guys get this dims you can help you guys along too or just enjoy the digital journey we're about to embark on and keep our fingers crossed because Debbie Dude really wants Loosemon. So We're going to be trying our hardest to guess what's the best way to get Debbie Dude Loosemon. And me, I'm just going as a blind run through like I always do on brand new dims and devices. Just to see who we get and how it turns Su out for us. Sushi Unicorn. Sushi Unicorns. Alright guys, <laughs> see you when we Digivolve. Alright guys, so we've Digivolved. We are at child level now. And Debbie Dude, who did you end up digivolving into? Gazimon! Yeah, you did. So let's check out Gazimon. Debbie Dude purposely went with Gazimon because we were talking about it. We figured that that was probably the best bet to get Loosemon. Because with the other dims with ha that has two um, child levels on there, you can't digivolve into every single one of the adult levels. Basically, it splits them kind of in half. So half will go with one child level and half will go with the other. So we figured if we want to hit some of those more dark evolutions, like the bad guys, we thought that Gazimon is probably the best bet to go there. Right, Debbie Dude? Yeah, because he's mischief. Yeah, and you like Gazimon overall as a Digimon. Yeah, Gazimon is cool. And then... Like a prankster. Yeah. And then I went with Kakuamon. Because honestly, Kakuamon is up there with one of my favorite Digimon of all time. I love Kakuamon's design so much. I think it looks so cool. I've always been a big fan of Kakuamon. So I purposely went with him because, again, just really like his design. I like the other child level a lot. I think it's really cool. I think there's a lot of Digimon on this dim that I really like on the Blitzmon dim. And I know there's a lot of Digimon on this one, on the Loemon Dim, that you're a big fan of, too. Yeah, Lagrusmon, and Skosensumon, and the Legend. I really like Mad Leomon. I've always been a big fan of Mad Leomon. I think he What's looks really Mad cool. Leo he's like a, he's like a, remember um, seeing him? He's like the evil, dark, purpley looking Leomon. He's in um, Cross Wars. Or Digimon Fusion for the dub fans there. I never watched that one. Yeah, but you've seen them in uh, different cards and things like that I've shown you. You just don't remember them right now. But um, you've definitely seen them because Daddy's talked about them before with you and how I'm, I like his design. I think he looks cool. Yeah. So right now, that's where we're at right now with Child Level there. We haven't done any training or any uh, battles yet. But we're going to start getting them in now. And then once we digivolve into adult level, we'll tell you guys how we got there. How many trophies we each got and how many battles we each did. Going from child level to adult level, it's not going to matter 
on our win ratios, it only matters on the amount of battles we get in. So if we, even if you lose every battle, you'll still count for those battles towards your adult levels. It's not until you start getting into perfect level and ultimate level that the win-loss ratio actually matters. So we're going to start getting that in now and do it and get that and we'll check out some training and stuff while we are doing that guys we'll we'll be back here with you guys when we hit adult level and again updating you on how we got there fingers crossed we'll be able to get loose mon for devi dude here right bud yeah you're really stoked about it, aren't you yeah fun fact about loose mon they did um bunch of people did data mining for the dims to give you all the stats and abilities for all of them there and Lucemon's stats are at super ultimate level on this dim. That's why Lucemon hasn't been shown with any evolution so far, from what we've seen from people posting and stuff. And because why? Because he's got the power of a super ultimate. Exactly. I was expecting when the dims were released that we were going to be seeing Lucemon Satan mode, but they're only stopping at Chaos mode. And but they did make his stats wise comparable to Susanomon, like it is in the anime there. So that's really cool, and we'll really see how he battles and how he does well with Devi Dude there, because, you know, we're definitely going to be doing some battles then. Right, Devi Dude? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so stay tuned. Keep on watching and see where we have. See what happens. We have Digivolved. We've Digivolved now. We're at adult level. So before we reveal who we ended up Digivolving into, we'll talk about how we got there. So for Devi Dude, he did five battles, and he got five trophies. That equals 10. Well, in this circumstance, it doesn't actually equal 10 for us, buddy. Yes, it does. It's 5 and 5 as in two separate things. Yes, and then for does. me, I ended up getting 9 battles in, and I had 8 trophies. So let's find out who we did evolved into, and then who we ended up getting. So, Debbie Dude, you go first. Meg Leomon up! Debbie Dude apparently fell. He's got Mad Leomon. Speaking of, we were just talking about Mad Leomon and who he was. As soon as we got done recording, I ended up showing Debbie Dude. He's like, oh yeah, I remember him. So, and you, I ended got up, him. you ended up Digivolving the Mad Leomon. I feel like Mad Leomon might be one of the Digimon who would Digivolve into Loosemon. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed that we're still on track for that because we don't know. And of course, Loosemon's going to be maybe a good care. Yeah, I'm assuming, Lucemon, you're going to probably have to get a lot of trophies and a lot of battles for. Yeah. That's what we're going to end up shooting for. Um, I'm going to guess, and I'm just going to go with this. We're going to put in as much effort um, right now to get Lucemon as you would for a ultimate level Digimon or mega level. So because we're going to put it's in... It's the same power. Yeah, so we're going to shoot as if he's a ultimate or mega level Digimon is what we're going to put that much care into it. Yeah, because... That's and how strong he is. I digivolved into Blade Coagumon. Which is a weird Digimon. He sounds like a legendary arms to He does look like a legendary arms to He's basically like a sword gauntlet. That's kind of what it looks like to me. Like he yeah, looks like, like you would go on your forearm here and just be a blade coming out. Is what it looks like to me. Honestly, I'm not a fan of this Digimon. Out of all the Digimon I could, out of the four possible Digimon that yeah, were on the really dim like, um... as adult levels there, this was the one that I didn't want. But at the same time, it's kind of cool. I do like the fact that I am clearly on the Coagumon line. Because the rest of the Coagumons on this dim, I do like a lot. So it's give or take with this one. I'm That's not particularly not thrilled with having this Digimon. But at the same time, I do like who it could possibly did evolve into. So I'm going to, again, put in um, like a good care. So generally for these to go from adult level to perfect level, if you put in 15 battles and 15 trophies with a high win ratio of like 70% or more, you're generally going to get the best care, you can, best care Digimon you can get. So that's what I'm going to put in for this one. And then, same thing with Devi Dude. We're going to go and we're going to shoot for 20 trophies and 20 battles. Because that's what you need to get any of the best care um, perfect level. I mean, ultimate level Digimon or mega level Digimon for the dub fans. There. 
So we're going to put in that much effort for Devi Dude and see if that will give us Lusmon. Fingers crossed there. But we do have something really cool that just showed up also. Two stickers and this one has some Devimon. So I ended up getting this package of stickers in from Sinobali. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce the name and right. S-I-N-O-B-A-L-I -I is the name. Um, I'm a huge fan of them on Instagram. I've been following their art, their Digimon artwork for a really long time, and they just opened up an online store for the first time. And the day it opened, I went and ordered a bunch of Digimon stickers from them. Um, what they do is they sell them in sets. So I got two different sets. I got the Digital Monster version one set, which has all of them on it, because that has Devamon, which we know we have to get a Devamon sticker. And It'd be our first him. Devamon sticker Finally, on the counter. After After two years, we finally have After two years, we'll finally have a Devilmon sticker. And then I also ordered the special set. Um, they said on their site that they were going to be doing um, special sets and take basically the ones that are going to be up for a little while, take them down, and then put up a new special there. So I ordered the first specials that they had. Yep, because... So, let's check out the stickers. Has something special. This is packaged really well. For this just being stickers, they put in a lot of care into the packaging here. They also do um, play mats and um, little plastic um, keychains with their designs on them too. I want the Devilmon one. I don't know if they have a Devilmon keychain one, but I do know they have different designs than the stickers. And the play mats look really cool. And as a playmat goes, they are very affordable. They're not like crazy amount of money. When will the oh. package give her? Gonna pull out box cutter. As always, if you are a little dude. Like me. Like Devi dude here. Have a grown up handle anything sharp like scissors or knives oh. when, you're open, when you're opening up any packages. Also, if you are a toddler, keep anything sharp away. They have their business card, oh, which has a bunch of their designs on it. it. Hold on one second, Debbie Dude. Let's check it out here. Definitely go follow them. I don't know them personally. Again, I'm just a fan of their artwork. And I was really excited for their sticker sets to come out. And to find out that they have an official shop. They did do um, like a Patreon thing going where if you... Subscribe to different tier levels. You can get different products from them. But now they have a full-blown shop. All right, so this is the special set. We've got a Metal Garurumon X. Jessmon. Omega Mon. I mean, Imperial Jamon Paladin mode. Here, I'm just going to start, instead of saying each one, I'm just going to show them all off real quick is what we're just going to do. Just to make it quick here. I like that one. I know, you like Armageddon. I like that guy. I know. I, I love like the Black War Greymon design too. here. Me too. What Greymon? Maybe I... Then we got another Biazamon to add to the counter. Yep. Oh, I got a really cool idea. Um, All right. Maybe when we add... Now, this one is one that I really liked and wanted. New Mimon. To get us a new Mimon sticker. Lord. The Slime Lord. He's Poop Lord. <laughs> to get a sticker of him on the counter. Like this Digitama one. No, no, that's just a Digitama. Just a regular egg. No, no, no. I thought Something his like, like, eyes were hatching out. Like he was breaking out of his egg. Nope, that's a different design. Like the Tyrannomon. That's one. All these look great. Again, I'm a I big like fan of the artwork. I like that one. I like that one. Seedramon. Betamon. Devamon. Here we go. There's the Devamon. Well, of course they not have him. Love the DM. Bonmon and Koromon. Agumon. Metal. No, that's just regular Mammymon. Ma and Greymon. Yep, and Greymon. Alright, so those are some I, awesome I sticker love sets. This. I love this. I love this. 
Now let's... Design for Devamon. It's so cool. I like how his tongue is sticking I say out. we put Devamon right here, so he's going to be on camera every time we record. What do you I think, Debbie? I say, like, right here so he's near me. You want him near you? Yeah. All right, then we'll do that for you, Debbie. Do since he's your partner, we'll put Devamon near you. There we go, right there in front of you, Debbie. Do so you can see him every time. Hey. All right, guys. Yo. So that's gonna be the end of this portion. Now we did you on an adult level. We told you how we got there, and then now we'll pick up from there with a perfect level. Our ultimate for you dub fans and we'll see how we go from there and how we got to those points like i said we're brought, we're going to try for the best care we can on these ones and we're going to get a ton of trophies and a ton of battles in and with the high win ratios all right see you guys in a sec hello we have digivolved we've digivolved now into perfect level or ultimate for you dub fans there and we've had some big twists here that we did not expect with our evolutions. So let's check out who we have first with Devi Dude. Instead of Lusmon, I've got School Centamon. Yes. That's still awesome. So Devi Dude ended up doing 25 battles and got 20 trophies with his win ratio of being somewhere in the high 80s, if I remember correctly. So if he was going to Digivolve into Lusmon, he met all the requirements that were going to happen with it, but he did not. He got Skull Santamon instead, which is another one of your favorite Digimon anyway. Yes. And you even have I... a little, you have a little mini of him, don't you? Yes. Also, yeah. Daddy, I looked on the app, mm -hmm. um, on the Digimon I was, I was able to do Loosemon. It was just a different character. It didn't say, it, but still, because, it yeah. was. Save so, Debbie Dude put his, what he's saying is Debbie Dude put his Digimon in the app, and then on the app it gives you the evolution trees, possibilities for your Digimon. And then he looked into it and it said that Mad Leomon can Digivolve into Loosemon, but it didn't say how. So, I'm going to guess and say maybe you got to unlock Loosemon first by doing the adventure quest. Yeah. Because that sounds like him. Yeah. Because he's like a big muscle guy. Just kidding. <laughs> so that's what Arr. I'm going to guess and see. Because like I said, as of recording this, there's no evolution guides out yet on how to um get out for these dims. So that's going to be my guess on how to do it. And then for me, I ended up doing 16 battles and I got 15 trophies with a win ratio in the high 80s for mine, and I ended up digivolving into Wisemon, which, oh yeah, and by the way, for adult level and perfect level, I mean for child level and adult level, we had max vital values for both of our Digimon. So I ended up digivolving into Wisemon, which was a big shock to me, because I really expected to digivolve into Metal Life Coagumon, being that I was already Blade Quagamon, I thought he would be like the best care Digimon for that and the evolution line. But again, big surprises for both of us here on who we ended up Digivolving into. Um, can we show them the cards that I made? Absolutely. Demi Dude was making his own cards today. So let's check out the ones Demi Dude made. I've made Loosemon. Oh man. Whoops. <laughs> He's Russian. Demon that I accidentally pronounced as Daemon. And then Belfamon Rage Mode. You did an awesome job. And we did, you did a uh, human mode Demon from the anime. Yep. Because in Digimon Zero 2, I think that's it. Um, yep. He was in the human mode. Yep. So, one thing I really thought was cool with Wisemon is when he goes to sleep, he goes inside of his book. And I thought that's really awesome and really funny. And same thing when he gets hit with damage, with doing battles and stuff, he goes inside, he goes inside of his book. And I thought that was really it. funny. So speaking of battles, I think we should do a battle right now, right, David Dude? Oh, uh, I think it would be really funny. It's like he's panicking there, and then his clothes just closes on him. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> All right, so. Why don't we send your dude? It's for you. Yeah. And let's send him over. 
The fight I really wise mom. Are you? I really want to see the how the book closes on him. There we go. Is it possible to run away from another person that you're battling with? With versus them? I have no idea if you could run away on them or not. That would be have, really weird. Yeah, I've never tried because we've always wanted to do a battle. Okay, I want to see if he gets close by the book. Ooh, that was a big hit. <laughs> oh, we both have the same attack style. Same attack animations. Oh, he yeah. dodged. <laughs> oh no, he looks wrong at me. But he didn't go inside the book. Oh no, I guess he doesn't go in when he gets hurt. I know he goes in when he gets sad or upset. No! Oh, I yeah. think you're gonna take the win on this one, Debbie. Oh great, you do your special too. So we got to see him for both, and you took the win, Debbie, dude. See, he goes in the book and he gets upset. That's what it is. That's funny. I lost the vital values, but then I gained them for the bonus for battling. That's funny. Complete. That's funny. All right. Inside the book, like, oh, I'm oh. You got to turn it on first, then put the dim back in. All right. And then I'm Debbie back, back up. Setting weight, demon lords, yeah. and scepters, only three. You did a great job on those cards, Debbie, dude. Thank you. All right. And there you go, guys. So that is it for this level. When we join you guys next time, we'll be hitting ultimate level or mega for you dub fans there and find out who our final Digimon are. And maybe we'll, do, maybe we'll hit that adventure quest then. Right, Debbie, dude? Yes. Yeah, that so sounds good? All right, guys, stay tuned, keep on following, and we'll see you at the end. Hey, guys, we have Digivolved. We've Digivolved, made it to ultimate level, or mega for you dub fans out there, and... Honestly, this dim has been nothing but surprising for both of us. We did not expect at all for either one of the dims we were running on any of our evolutions or who we digivolved into. So as you guys just saw there, I clearly Jogress, but you didn't see into who. Um, it popped up the Jogress option, and I'm like, you know what? Let's see who we get. Mammy Tyranimon, Mammy Tyramon is a really cool Digimon. I had him on the back up there because I was running him before these dims showed up. So I'm like, you know what? It felt right to me. So that's what I did. And I'll show you who I jogged into in just a sec. But first, let's check out who Debbie Dude did you evolved into. Instead of getting Deathmon, we got whoever this guy is. It's really cool Tiger guy. I honestly I don't remember his name, but he'll be on the screen for you guys there. I um, really like him. Again, very surprised by this. Devi Dude had um, 20, 30, had 30 battles in with a 74% win ratio and 20 trophies. So he was really expecting that to be the best care traditionally and normally on a dim and to get Deathmon then for the evolution. Maybe but when Deathmon we did you all into this. He's a bad game, care because he isn't like a very, he is a bad guy. Maybe. Um, as of, again, been saying this the whole time, as of recording this, there are no evolution, um, charts out yet, but as of this morning, I checked, Humulos did update his site, and the evolutions are up now, but at this point, we've already finished out our run on the dim there. Um, I can confirm from there, Lucemon, you do have to unlock first, before you can Digivolve into him. So, we would have Digivolved into Lucemon, with the amount of trophies, battles, and win ratios, and vital values that we had. Oh, Debbie Dude also had my max vital values, too. Um, we would have digivolved into Lucemon if we had him unlocked already. Yes. And for me, I ended up jogressing into Ancient Beetlemon, which I like this Digimon. I think he's cool. He's a combination of kind of like um, Kabuterimon Evolution Line and Koagumon Evolution Line. 
because he's got clearly two different types of bot top and bottom going on there with insect type Digimon and it's kind of a homage to both of those the more well-known insect Digimon we would have liked to gone out and done some adventure quest right Debbie dude yeah but we it's been raining it's nasty and I haven't been able to get out there uh, regretfully guys but we are here and we're still going to do some battles so we're going to end up battling instead so debbie dude let's pop this in i don't know the imposter guy all right so let's plug the dim in versus dim warning I think it would be cool if He's a cool Digimon, I'll admit that. I think it would be cool if you can actually run away from the guy from another one. You know what? We should try that sometime just to find out if it works or not. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, at the top there you guys can see that it kind of has a, a Kabuterimon feel and the bottom kind of has a Koagumon feel. Oh, you're gonna shoot skulls? What? That is awesome! There's my special coming up. And he dodge. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And you beat me very easily, Debbie Dude. Debbie Dude takes the win. A flawless victory. That was a flawless victory. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this dim run here. We've had a blast running this dim for the last week and a half here. This set is honestly really awesome. It's amazing. I love the two Digimon going on that they've been incorporating now. I will say that as of recording this, the BE was just dropped a couple days ago. Um, so that's fun and that's exciting. If you guys don't know what the BE is, it's the Vital Bracelet BE. And it's the newest updated version. It is a remodel of it, not just a software update like the Digivice V was. And... I'm um, really excited about that. They came out with the Digivice VV, which is the Digimon exclusive version of it. Because they came out with the white, the black there, which are just basic ones. They don't come with any dims with them at all, but will work with all the new BE dims. But we got the Digimon exclusive one, the VV. So when that comes out in the end of November, as of this video posting, which will we'll have it in the beginning of december we will absolutely be doing an unboxing a full review on it talking about all the new updates and everything so if you guys want to see that stay tuned keep on watching the channel we post new videos every friday so special thank you to everyone out there for watching and if you guys enjoy our content make sure you giga blast that like button and touch the music skip them down below uh, uh. It helps us out a ton. Thank you to everyone who likes, comments, subscribes, watches. You're all amazing. Special thank you to these awesome dudes over here, our Patreon supporters. Without you guys, the channel wouldn't be able to continue to grow. I wouldn't be able to continue to bring new devices. And if you guys want to help support the channel, go check out our Patreon down below there. All right, guys. With that, as always, a... Special thank you from me, my family, to you. Have, Have a, a digitastic day! day! Peace.